Okay, today we'll be opening up this used Denso oil filter, number 150-2006. And I got this Denso oil filter from a very generous viewer whose name is Sean from Florida. Thanks, Sean. This oil filter was in service for 4,500 miles and came off of Sean's 2013 Honda Accord. Yep, the one with the 2.4 liter four-cylinder engine, which now has 121,000 miles. He was using 0W20 Kirtland Signature Oil during this period. Let's open up this used Denso oil filter and see how it did. So let's get started. This is a network. You gotta do the silicone, be nice and tight. Get your hand in here. Filtration. Okay, so before we open up the Denso oil filter, let's take a look at the box, because Sean also included this box with the oil filter. So it says, first time fit, Heavy duty steel case, efficient paper media. Okay, so it's a paper media. Silicone and drain back valve. I think we'll do a burn test on that and check it out. Pre lubricated molded O ring. All right, that's about all the important information on this box. And the filter. All right, so we got eight inlet holes, three grooves there for threads, metal core with holes. Bypass valve down below. It's got this O-ring style gasket. Which is on here pretty good. Fits right in these grooves. And I'll measure that and put it up on the screen. So that looks good. Okay, let's um I couldn't find a date code on this filter either. I looked all around here. Nothing. This is all printed on. Okay, let's open this filter up and see what it looks like. Ooh, a little bit of oil. And it's puddling pretty good there. So the only any drain back valve's working. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, they say this is silicone. Looks black to me. Yeah, we'll do a burn test on this and check it out. But it does fit on there nice. Okay, and filter element. Got bypass valve right here. Looks clean, no excess glue. And nicely, nicely spaced pleats. And I'll put that up on the screen. The metal seam. Let's look at them up close. I don't see no tears, nothing out of the ordinary. Yeah. So they say it's a paper media, but I don't have no micron rating on this. And it's got a coil spring. See the oil is pretty dark, but it's not sludging. What I'll do is put that like that. Okay, let's uh get some measurements. Try to get in the lip. Okay, I'm getting about 0.62 right there. It's a thick can. Definitely thick. And the width will go 2.51 minus one tenth of an inch. Okay, this all looks pretty good. Yeah, it's all looks good. I don't see no tears or anything. All right, so uh, let me cut this open, squeeze it out, stretch it out, and be right back. Okay, so here's the filter all stretched out. And this Denso oil filter is 56 and a quarter inches long.
Okay, let's get the thickness on this filter media. 0.62 millimeters thick. This is the filtering side, the back side. And this filter is, uh, the media is pretty clean. Um, you can see a couple little things. There's a couple little light spots also. Now let's take a look at that picture under the microscope. Circled are the light spots. And the yellow arrow is pointing at some soot and carbon. So the filter caught a couple little, you know, some soot carbon. But it actually it looks pretty clean though. Now let's take a look at this media up close. So as you can see, it's it's pretty clean. I'm just gonna zip through this because it's it's real clean. Now let's take a look at the rest of the filter. Okay, so one thing I want to point out, that's why I got the box right here. I forgot to mention this earlier. Made in China. So this filter is made in China. And we got a nice base plate, nice coil spring, gasket's nice. And one thing I want to mention about the holes here is these guys are rough. These are rough holes, so. And if you can hear that. But, you know, it's got these, you know, this little ridge here, but actually down here it doesn't. So, it can, uh, it can rub on here, and resulting in tearing your uh, filter. It didn't do it on this one, but um, it could happen. These are rough holes. They're, they're punching them inside out, so they're punching them the wrong way, if you ask me. Now, the can is really thick. This is a thick can, and I had it sitting like this. You can see there's it's pretty clean in there. No sludging, no excess glue on this one or anything. So what do you guys think about this filter? And let's do the test there on the anti drain back valve. So I got the plate here. And no matter what happens, this silicone or nitro rubber anti drain back valve did a good job. It held the oil in there really good. So let's see what this is made out of. Let me start this way. Now, that's black smoke, and that's burning like crazy. That's definitely rubber, so they're lying on the box. That's black, and it stinks. I can smell it from here. Yep. All right, and again, I want to thank Sean for sending me this Denso oil filter. And I think I'll wrap this video up. And don't forget, Oil Filter Fridays. I try to open up an oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching, and take care. Try burning this some more. You can hear it sizzling. <laughs> Look at that smoke. Wow. That's really coming out now, folks. Yep. Come on, go out.